Live from Omaha, Nebraska. Um, we'll just kind of get started. Maybe just say your name and um, why. Why did you do comedy? Why did you decide to do stand-up comedy? So I'll go first. I'm Brooke. Um, <laughs> again, I uh, was teaching middle schoolers and doing such a good job teaching them math. And they were like, you should be a stand-up comedian because you're really funny at teaching math. <laughs> So that, and then all the, obviously the trauma was a good reason for that. How about you? What's your name, and why did you start comedy? Uh, my name is Melissa Nicole, and similarly, I started math because my dad never told me that. You started math. math. Um, <laughs> I started math and comedy. Uh, I started comedy because my dad never told me he loved me. Aww. So you know, you're lovable though. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna tell him. You don't have to. If you could write, sign an yeah, affidavit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Thank yeah, we'll you. We'll get it notarized. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks. Kaya, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why did you start comedy? Um, I'm really good at repeating my stories. Um, mostly, I just crave attention so much. I just find someone to tell it to, and I'm just like, maybe I can get a bunch of people in a room and do that, and then like beg them to clap for me with social context. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I've fallen in love ever since. Love that. I love that. Um, what is your name? It is Taryn Perez. Oh, Taryn Perez. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Why did you start comedy? It's like a mixture of everything on the stage. Um, I was going to be a math teacher. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, but I did not. Um, but no, a lot of trauma. Um, I was a middle child. I was fat um, as a kid. Oh, wow. So, you know, just like to have attention. I feel like this is the only time people listen to me. Um, and if they don't listen to me, I feel at home, so it's okay. <laughs> um, also, I've just always loved comedy. It's been something I always... When you're a fat kid, you just make people laugh, mm -hmm. and you're the funny kid, and so I've always looked at that. Also, my ex-husband told me I could never do stand-up, so I love to prove him wrong every fucking day. Mm -hmm. And that's why my name is always going to be Taryn Perez on stage. Oh, I love that. It's I the love biggest that. fuck you, you can ever have. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Forgot. Can we not we, cuss? We can curse. Okay. okay. Sorry. We have creative expression. Oh, okay. perfect. In order you to really... You will be cur... Wait, what kind of cursing do you mean? <laughs> that guy. Like guys, guys, I don't. That's Because it's I, Halloween. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I try really hard to watch my... I, 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 don't. I don't. I don't. I can't. I work for an abortion fund. Am I going to get up here and talk about killing babies but not say the word shit? <laughs> Yes, gosh, oh, that hurts me. Wow, I, I was gonna start light, but you know, maybe you just real quick comedy goals while we're on this little like tangent here. Taryn Perez, um, is that saying, fuck you, it's your ex. What's uh, a goal that you have for comedy? Well, I've already kind of achieved one of them. I did start my own show called Trauma Dump. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and it's just, and it's at the, uh, you know, backline and stuff like that. And for me personally, it's just so people can get up and make weird jokes like I have a dead mom or different things like that. Like, you know, just make like tonight when I made my joke about Drake, like I should be able to make that, you know, and stuff like that. It's just so um, I think comedy is a great tool. Uh, and my personal thing with my comedy is I want everyone to feel like heard and seen and know that they can laugh at something and like it's OK to laugh. Uh, I think it is the biggest like medicine there ever was humor at least it was for me so yeah, yeah, yeah. i think if you can laugh at your trauma then you've dealt with your trauma because i think if you can make a joke out of it then you've gone through and dealt with it and i don't think a lot of people get that they think you're up on stage just trauma dumping and they think you need to go back to therapy and you're like no i've gone to therapy mm -hmm. dealt with it and so i'm making the jokes now like okay yeah so but like that's the you know, obviously get famous i guess that would be the ultimate goal you know oh netflix special here i come mm. do you see that do you see that in your future? i mean i have a few in my back of my head that i would love to do eventually and stuff like that um of course that's always like big whatever but like i said i've only been doing it for like over a little year now and stuff so i already have my own show i feel like i'm yeah. 
just to keep going um, in that direction. Yeah, and if you happen to be watching this in 2036, you've already know that Taryn made it, so yeah. very cool. Very cool. 36, damn, she gave me only so much. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that long. No, <laughs> it'll be here. Be I mean, it's already almost November. <laughs> Time is fast and also not real, so. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya, what, do you have any goals for comedy that you want to fulfill? Just doing more shows and more open mics, more of everything. Yeah. Summer is the like heavy, hard like season at work. So now that it's fall, I can kind of get back to working on my comedy goals, but I just said those are, I'm yeah. not going to loop my you don't answer, need to say but it is an answer that could go in a loop. Yeah, if you but. want, you can rewind, like what, about 30, 45 <laughs> seconds and yeah. hear it over and over. It'll be satisfying. I'll be like, oh, so that's satisfying. so trippy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and also, if you're watching, you could totally book Kaya on a show or an open mic. And... Uh, yeah, I got to... Oh. Never mind. We'll talk later. Sorry. Trauma dog. No, no, I have Into the Fire as well that I took over okay. from Richie B as well. So. No one can try to throw me in a fire again. I'm I told sorry. you the bunch of jokes. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. sorry. Yeah. I thought you liked it. I, I didn't weird. die. I'm just going to come back stronger again. Well, that's what I was just trying to help. Okay. There's a smidge bit of miscommunication in that, but we'll clear it up later. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, besides stopping... Um, the misinformation that is out there on abortion, which we will get to in a minute. What is a goal that you have for comedy? Well, I was going to say to talk about the abortion fund. <laughs> um, but that's always the goal in any room I'm in. I would say my ultimate goal, not to copy Taryn, but to elaborate further. To be famous. No, for my shitbag ex-husband. <laughs> <laughs> to not tell me he's coming to a show thinking that he's going to terrorize me and then i am going to take the mic and sit next to him <laughs> and take the entire mic time to tell jokes about how he is bald <laughs> <laughs> oh like he can't grow hair yeah and you have like really really good hair i know i have a lot of hair everywhere in my body so <laughs> just so you know into the fire fire crotch born that way if you want to book me whatever yeah I could totally anyhow i know we figured you had a never mind yeah, curtain so, snatched the drapes. I was, yeah, yeah. I was there. it's natural. I feel it's like natural. it's time just to get to it. What is the difference between the two abortion initiatives? Oh my God! Thank you, Taryn. I did not at all ask you, you to. Er, I'm, I'm drunk. I'm, I'm drunk. Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it was a dry show. Um, I did not ask someone to write that on there at all. So thank you for asking. Um, so the, where's the camera here? Oh, this one. The one that's on. Perfect. So thank you. Um, the first initiative is Initiative 434, which is referred to as Protect Women and Children. Um, that is the Ricketts initiative that Pete Ricketts and his mommy's money dumped millions of dollars into um, to confuse voters to basically uphold our 12-week band. But what's very interesting about that, and I promise I won't take up this whole time because I could talk about abortion forever, is there's no wording in there that stops it at 12 weeks. It's basically so vague that what they'll do is go back to the legislator like Jim Pillen. If this does pass in November, so when the legislator opens back up next year and they will enact a total ban like they've all but promised to do. Initiative 439, which is your last one on the ballot, up until feet of viability. So it basically would get rid of our abortion ban and it would get the government out of your vagina, which who wants them there anyways? Um, Ricketts is bald and we've all established I don't like bald men. Um, and as my bald boyfriend sits in the audience, <laughs> I make him wear a wig. Anyways, so you want to vote yes on 439, which is protect our rights, and no on 434, which is protect women and children, because it does anything but. Yeah. Yeah. Very well. Yes. Very well answered. And Thank it didn't you. take up all our time, Perfect. so we can get to the real good stuff. Do you believe in aliens? <laughs> yes, I just talked about Pete Ricketts. And there's no <laughs> fucking way that bald pussy is a person. <laughs> I think the pussy is calling him something that's beautiful. I don't think you, sure. you, maybe maybe a, a dick. I don't know. Scrotum. Scrotum. Let's go. Gooch. Taint. 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 I think taint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dipshit. As <laughs> my new favorite Nebraskan, Daddy Walls, called <laughs> Elon Musk a dipshit. So I think we can call Pete Ricketts a dipshit. There you go. There you go. You heard it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> we are very proud of our government, and we don't want them in our vaginas. Mm. Um, do you believe in aliens? Yeah, I just think they're busy. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> they have a lot of meetings. I think they've been meaning to stop by, and I think we catch them kind of like walking by the door, and they're like, oh, and they kind of just like back out, and they're like, this is, I know they're just, just going to take up a long time. If they finally land on Earth, we're just going to talk and talk and talk and talk. and talk. I don't think they have time for that. I'm a talker. If they land near me and the aliens have to talk to me, you know, they better clear their schedule because I'm interested in what they have to say. Maybe they're tuning in and listening to podcasts from wherever Absolutely. they are. I want to know what music they listen to. Mm -hmm. I want to see if, you know, do they get Netflix up there? All that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of music do you think they listen to? I feel like dubstep makes sense because yeah. we're done with it here. And I feel like we just kind of throw it out there and they, they catch it, you know? It's like our trash. No yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Here you go. Mm. Taryn, what are your thoughts on aliens well, and extraterrestrials? I'm wearing Gillian Anderson's lips on my shirt right now. And she was on X-Files. Um, and I have an X-Files shirt or poster and it says, you know, I want to believe. So, you know, I mean, and did I listen to the whole podcast for X-Files as well as watch all the... Yes. No, I... Yeah. No. I'm very much into... The supernatural. There's, well, there's terrible. something else out fucking there, out yeah. there, you know? I mean... I mean, Ty, whatever. What's the what's the science guy? Ty, what was his name? Bill Nye. Bill Nye. 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 The new one. Daddy Nye. 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 Excuse me. Yeah, I wish oh. it was Degrassi. Neil Degrassi like, Tyson. Like, <laughs> whatever. I mean, like he's out there. He he's proven shit all the time. Like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Science is a thing. Yeah. Didn't they come out during COVID and say that like aliens really did exist and everyone was like, Yeah, but we were so okay. busy. We were busy. Yeah, we were so busy with COVID. Yeah, that's yeah, we were busy. They were like, Oh my gosh, I finally. I'm finally ready to make it to Earth. We got the flight booked. And then it's like, okay, so I'm sorry, guys. And they're like, we can't, can't get in because we can't pass the COVID test. Sorry. Right. Sure. Yeah. That's it's like, it you is. don't want to come here. And we're all sick. All of it. Um, I, I, I do believe in aliens, and I believe in unicorns, and I believe in fairies, and I believe in you guys. But um, <laughs> mostly because of math. And here's why. In math, they have ultimate infinity, like a, an, an affinity amount of dimensions. Right. And so we're in like a three dimensional world and there's infinite dimensions and also the spectrum of light. Right. We can see this much out of the whole spectrum of light. So I feel like a lot of these like the mermaids, obviously, they they live in like some of these other dimensions where it's safe. Right. Where they're not going to get thrown into a museum or put in, <laughs> you know, like a box so we can be like, hey, little alien, what's my future? You know stuff like that so math is definitely the scientific explanation for that oh my god can i ask a question that wasn't written down that i just thought of oh, oh I'll, I'll tell myself <laughs> never mind fuck me no i'm kidding I <laughs> write it down no you can't no i was gonna ask what would everyone's alternate dimension of you be like if there was an opposite of you what would it be oh my god she's having so much fun she is naughty like for real for real she's like on a motorcycle who brooke <laughs> yeah okay how about you? Um, I would be a very conservative woman. I'd be a trad wife. That would be the opposite of me, would be hey, a trad wife. I'd be. You want, bro you want toast for breakfast? I'm yeah. As I'm dough. just like feeding two babies hanging off my boobs, like there'd be a lot of like yes sirs and like all of that. And I wouldn't be tied up as I'm saying them like I am now. Anyways. Oh, yes. <laughs> Karen, um, another dimension of you? I'd be a confident woman. I don't know. <laughs> hey. What would that be like? I know, right? I wouldn't have low self-esteem. I'd like my body. I don't know. Yeah. What's that about? I'd be like confident. I don't know. I, yeah. I, you know, what is, I don't know. Maybe. I think it's like when, when you like know what love, like actual love feels like. <laughs> Maybe not believe everybody, like not just be gullible all the time and see the best in people. I think I just see the worst in people for once in my life um, and not try to help anybody out. I think it'd be very selfish. Okay. I think it'd be selfish confident and confident. And selfish. Yeah, and maybe a mermaid. I don't know, <laughs> you know? Hell yeah, wet all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look good in a bathing suit, come on. Exactly, it's my dream to look, feel confident in a goddamn bikini. You tell me, yeah, that's what it is. I bet you look good in a bikini. <laughs> all right. Anywho, Yours. other thoughts? Um, mine, I don't know, probably someone's small dog with like, the, <laughs> like it's cute, but it's got the fucked up teeth, kind of just like on the bottom. A little shit oh, Yeah. Yeah, the underbite. Yeah. Or like an office ficus, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. It seems like a chill. I'm just supplying the vibe, you know. Yes. While you work, you go ahead. 
Those little succulents, succulents by the window as you. Yeah, all of them. those are my homies. The yeah, succulents. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's let's go. Taryn, do you have any upcoming shows? Well, like you just said, Trauma Dump, November 8th um, okay. at 9.30 at uh, the back line. But then, like I said, I took over. Um, Richie B created the show Into the Fire at Blackstone Theater. And he passed it down. To, he passed the torch down to me, I guess you could say. Uh, so that one's every first Friday of every month. So the next one is November 1st. Um, at 8.30 down at Blackstone Theater. So pretty good, pretty good. My, yeah, that's all I got right now. Awesome. Yeah. Faya, do you have a favorite animal? My favorite animals are always the ring-tailed lemurs. Hmm. Uh, that's kind of what I studied in school. I studied abroad in Madagascar a little what? bit. So that's kind of my... You should have my led little, with that. <laughs> my little hyper fixation from like, you can see my birthday as like from like, turning eight be like it's Madagascar everything lemurs everything be like oh my gosh was that a boy what's an interesting lemur fact they can they use stink bites they have the okay the ring-tailed lemurs they have stink glands on the wrists they'll rub their tail against it and they kind of throw that scent like a stink bomb and that's kind of how they have their kind of warfare and that's so fun fight yep and stinky does it smell like skunk does it smell like marijuana I haven't smelt it because um, they like her. Well, and there's <laughs> lots, uh, you know, you, in most times. Okay, sorry. You know. I wish they had like a little like window that you could move so you could let the scent out. No, it's, 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 oh my god! If you were to like, why don't they make just, a perfume oh, of it? Yeah. Why don't they just make a perfume of it? it could be like, a probably that's probably what most actually see, perfumes have something stinky yeah, in them. Yeah, that's on purpose. So it's like mm -hmm. gasoline and different things Wait, like that. Wait, what? But, yeah, like it'll have like a smidge of poo poo, just so like. <laughs> It'll it's smell bad just and like farting good. into no, every love spell no, and no, Victoria's no, secret. No, like. no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I'm a substitute no, no, no. teacher. I know everything. Brooke's been kicked out of every <laughs> Sephora <laughs> in Nebraska. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to give you pink eye today. Right. <laughs> Um, you know, there's always a little hint of something that smells bad. So you know how like sometimes like when like the, the guy or somebody really like they have BO or something like that and you kind of like smell it and you're like, damn, you know, you stink. You, you start to like, like it. Yeah, you start to like it. Everybody likes their own brand. Yeah, right, like, okay. Okay, I think, or like, yeah, or the, like weird smells like gasoline has that weird, oh, it's not good, but there's something that smells good in it. Oh. Kind of thing and something like that. So it's always, there's always a hint of that. Is there's that something like, weird now. Yeah, there's something that we are prone to it. Is that how like we first figured out like farting on your pillow gives you pink eye? Um, like no, someone had like a fetish no, of it? No, I think that was happened when the first husband trapped his wife underneath the covers and farted a Dutch in her oven. face. Do you guys want to hear the best thing that my best friend ever did for me in my entire life? Yeah. When, yeah? <laughs> when my ex-husband was moving out and he was moving all of his shit out, she took his pillow and bare ass farted on it in my laundry room, but didn't ask me to, didn't ask me. I was just walking past my laundry room and her pants were down and she just had the pillow to her butt and was just ripping ass. Is that you? It was, yeah. <laughs> It She's laughing there. way too hard, you know. I was like, and you, I like, you look like. And I, I, I walked by, <laughs> and in that moment, we exchanged eye contact, you. and what went unsaid is that this bitch would take a bullet for me. That's some like, oh, yeah. uh, that's some. That's some. As love. once a toxic man, that's some chilled alpha bitch right there. Yeah, yeah, that's what <laughs> and I. And then she sealed it in a giant Ziploc bag, tightly sealed, so that when he opened it up, it'd be nice and fresh. Yes. So sweet, I'll so sweet. Him in a jar, <laughs> give him that mason jar. <laughs> Let him open it five weeks later. I don't know. And they're like, why does this smell like Victoria's Secret love spell? <laughs> <laughs> That's how the perfume is made. I just, yeah. <laughs> just love spell. Oh, yeah, just love spell. Okay. <laughs> what? Well, lots of different perfumes came to mind from my life from growing <laughs> up. Was it like Calvin, Calvin Klein? There's that, there was Curve. The sunflower. Clinique Happy, do you guys remember okay. that? Uh -huh. No, I just said Curve, I was broke. I got Walmart oh, right <laughs> Cold, cold water. Uh, what were the Bath and Body Works one? Cucumber, melon. Oh man. Or warm vanilla sugar. Warm vanilla, I can't do that one anymore. And I can't do the cucumber one because I got that lotion and like, I started masturbating with that lotion and I got like an infection. Yeah, like I, <laughs> I just could never use that lotion again. It's so bad. I feel like little... sympathy <laughs> pains for you well, right now. I was now. young. It's when I was first figuring out, okay? Oh I didn't God. know you couldn't use, like, scented, lo okay? Like, you don't get told things, you know? Trial and error. It's yeah. science. Yeah. Is it math, Brooke? It is math. I think it's a little everything. <laughs> yeah, there's a pH in there. A little bit of chemistry. A little chemistry. And actually, a little bit of physics. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, yes, yeah. Thermodynamics as well. Yeah. Listen. Just don't use Bath and Body Works lotion on your pussy, okay, guys? That's all I'm trying to say. You can light the, the candle 
But don't drip the wax on it. <laughs> don't use the lotion. No. <laughs> if any of you need to pause and like fact check some of this stuff, you're more, than, more than welcome. I promise to. you wouldn't fact check. <laughs> there was to be no fact checking. The rules said you weren't gonna fact check. Nope. I'm too honest. I don't want my. I don't want you asking my father if I was. I, I, I need to know, first of all, what does this question mean? Um, what does the anatomy of cat-dog work? Now, that could be yoga. That's how. That, how. How does the, the anatomy. anatomy of cat-dog Like work? the animal cat-dog, the show cat-dog. Uh, Is it a show called cat-dog? Oh, my God. From Nickelodeon? Yeah. Where it's one a half cat. is a cat and one half what? is a dog. So, I think... See, that was a marine organism. Like I would think it'd be a filter feeding system blood, where water would go in one end no, so like, and out the other. Here's the part where we have two separate podcasts for oh, a little yeah. bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just Did you whatever. watch Cat Dog? I well, watched Cat okay, Dog. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. How long do we have to watch an episode of Cat Dog? Let's Pause. Pause. Hold it. I don't know what Cat yes. Dog is. Please is go it, watch it. Is it a cat butt and a dog face? No, it is. It's a cat and a dog that is connected. It looks kind of like a wiener dog body. It's really long, and it's a cat on one side and a dog on the other. So they, and have, they could, so and they like could like wrap Siamese twins, kind of, kind of. Way, but there's it, four legs. Yeah, four like they not have, eight legs. So they share. Yeah, and they, and they would like wrap around a lot. Like there's no butthole. No, no, there's no butthole. So I think there's just <laughs> a hole in the middle though, and they just like peeing out of that. Like you know what I mean? Like there's like something. Or does the cat eat and the dog poops it out of its mouth? Maybe they're like That's corals what? that they're like a colonial. Maybe they reproduce by budding and just like. <laughs> They all kind of like share a digestive Yeah, they track. never said how they got created. We gotta watch the, I think you gotta watch the opening of that show. To, like, so the, this the is theme. where it helps like, know if they're vertebrates or not. You know? This is where it's important where you distinguish the difference between science, right? And then magic and leave some things just to the realm <laughs> of magic. Like we don't have to know. Right, but like they, they're one solid. It doesn't look like it's like a Frankenstein monster it's thing. It's a cartoon. Yeah, but so, you know what? Like when they put even in cartoons, they show when they sew somebody. Yeah, I mean, come on. I but mean, not all cartoons have belly buttons, right? Or armpit hair. Well, armpit hair is a weird one to throw out there. But belly buttons, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, thank you for that's like saying. that's like saying oh, sometimes sorry. they only have four fingers instead of five. Yeah, <laughs> like it's an obvious. <laughs> was Brooke watching Hey Arnold and was like, this is so unrealistic. I don't see any armpit hair. Anywhere in this fucking show. How can somebody have a football? Can we talk hair? about Peppa. <laughs> right. I love Peppa with her that side eyes. Such a strange, weirdly shaped cartoon with no body hair. No oh, body hair. hair. Well, I guess it's a child. We should change the subject immediately. Yeah. yeah. I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You so watch Peppa. So, so now I understand the question at Peppa. least. Let's just find a random question from Ghosts of Past and see how we do. What's your favorite flavor of M and M's? Ooh, uh, caramel. Green, because I'm bi. Do the greens taste different? The that's girl, the lady. lady yeah, she is yeah, cute. No, Real I, cute I, I, I like the caramel and I like the pretzel one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't eat. Oh, like flavor. I was color. <clears throat> I like, you that. just wanted to say you have a crush on the green M&M. Like, I do. Are they mint flavor? It's fine. I have a crush from that fox, from that fox and the hound. Or not fox and the hound, but the Robin Hood fox. Oh, everyone does. Is that the one there? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a hound dog. No, that one's different. I always no. say fox and the hound, but there's, they What's didn't. They I immediately thought I don't know that Carfax no. Fox for some well, reason. He's got something going Because that's like furry adjacent. Well, no, I was going to say, no, he's got a tie on and he's got his facts correct, okay? okay yeah. Pause, pause, pause. I pause. cannot eat <laughs> M&M's because I am allergic. But when I didn't know I was allergic, I would really enjoy the plain ones, the peanut ones, the peanut what butter you, M&M's. What are you allergic to? Just chocolate? Well, so there's artificial colors oh. in them. And then that crunchy shell is just not good for me. And then the sugar. And then the thing about me is like, once I start, I cannot stop. And then I eat them all. And then I get really bloated. And then I get a rash. Like, <laughs> I was working on a song like Man. about it just to, you know, you know, like, ha ha, once you laugh about the trauma, ha ha, then you healed. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> well, don't, don't, I just said that earlier. Don't take it back now. Yeah, I can't okay. eat an M&M now. I can't. Well, if I did. Your skin doesn't heal. You eat all of them. Your will heal, okay? <laughs> Not your skin, maybe, from it. Okay. What color Skittles do you eat first? You would say green. because I'm bisexual. <laughs> yeah. I love the Red. callback. Yeah. Red. Because you're bisexual. Because you're a Republican? No, not Skittles. Not, or not Skittles. We moved Skittles. on. We moved Which on Skittles. Skittles. Do you have a favorite color? I know, color there's Skittles. red Skittles. I know, I have my friends. Red, yeah, tropical. Red. 
red. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're, we're going to go all the way out. We're going to go wild berry, bitches. Okay. And they're yeah, yeah, like a those punch. Are, okay. Like, I love the like, offshoot ones where the package is like turquoise yes. or purple. I was yes. like, no, no, you guys get the normal basic ones. I'm like, this is my like indie band. Nobody yeah. got no You don't know. I love a wild know what berry, berry flavored stuff. We like just Skittles. had the sour Skittles. I've had expired Skittles that mm. were pretty sour. Yeah. <laughs> Do you've ever had the sour? I've had a sour. Oh. I'm not like a big sour person. And this is actually not an advertisement for Skittles. <laughs> Although it does feel like one. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> There's just some really random questions. Um, back to parents' house. Have you ever not lived there? Yeah. I that was I'm, actually when Charles was on the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, was like, <laughs> I moved out at 18. I don't know yeah, what yeah. here. <laughs> I moved back a couple of times, you know, because divorce and then, like, mental breakdowns and stuff like that. Uh, my I dad, don't live there now. My dad told me I could move back home, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going back. Like, yeah. for me, it's a step back. I'm from a very small town in southern Illinois, so, like, no. I was like, no, thank y'all. Where everybody knows your name. Yeah, it's just like the bar Emmett's where everybody knows my name because I'm an alcoholic. Yeah, if you want to find Taryn um, and not find her online, if you want to find her in person, you could find her at Emmett's or another bar. Um, True. Somewhere like that. That's your local <laughs> bar crawling home. Yeah. Um, Every dive bar. Since we have like a minute, we'll just like say where you can find us online. So do you want to finish that? Like where they can find you? Um, on Facebook, it's just Taryn Perez. Um, I will spell the first one, so you know, with the rest of my name, you'll never be able to spell correctly. But it's T E R Y N, just so everybody knows. Um, and Instagram is the same one I've had from high school, so it is just Taryn44. But you can find it by typing in Taryn Perez as well. So. 44. Are you born on April 4th? Basketball number was 44. Ah, okay, okay. 44 on the floor. Okay. Barely ever because I was not a bench time for everybody, so keep going. That's Kaya, true. where can they find you? Kaya V Comedy. That's K-Y-A-V, and then look up how to spell comedy, because I don't know. <laughs> I think it's C-U-M-E-D-Y. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I met Brooke Makes Fun. I just say that really fast. Uh, I met Melissa Nikki, N-I-C-K-I. Because you're bisexual. Because I'm unique. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm very basic, also bisexual. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching us. These are my babes for the month. Good night. <laughs>